It's time to make them champions again. Hello FM brothers and sisters, in this video we are going to check Manchester United and I will show you the best tactic and we are going to do a little transfer guide, so let's go. When we are speaking about tactic, I will play in formation 4-2-3-1 and this would be my first team. Also I have some individual instructions. In attack is advanced forward, we don't have Ronaldo anymore, so Martial is going to be my advanced forward. He's awesome, uh, he has great dribbling, so why not? Dribbling more, uh, that's his individual instruction. Behind him, uh, Bruno Fernandes. Uh, probably the heart of this team, he's going to play as attack and midfielder, attack and duty. I want from him to take more risks with his passing and to shoot more often, why not? His long shots are 16, he's going to score many goals, that's for sure. Maybe it's not a bad idea to give him uh, another individual instruction, roam from position. Uh, left side, Rashford as an inverted uh, winger or is inside forward attacking duty. Yeah, Rashford is born for this position. Uh, right side uh, still would choose Anthony, a new face at Manchester United. Superb dribbling, he's born to play as inverted winger on the right side. Also have Jadon Sancho, you should not forget about him. Uh, Jadon can play on both sides, so he needs some minutes in the first team in real life. I don't know what is going on with him, really. Uh, but in FM, he still has great quality. Okay, then we have Casemiro as a ball winning midfielder. He's born for this role, he's a quality player, and he's going to be he's going to fit in this role really well. A uh, second position in the midfield is really a problem. I know that in real life Ericsson is playing there, but guys, Ericsson can't play as a runner there. If you play with Ericsson and uh, Bruno Fernandes. Uh, that's too much. You have two players. They don't. They're not good in defense. They're not help defense. So it's too much. You need one player who is going to run up and down, and that's not Ericsson, guys. You have Bruno who is going to create. You don't need Ericsson. That's my opinion. Ericsson can play only if uh, he's going to. Uh, only if Bruno Fernandez is on the bench, or if he's injured. That's my opinion. So for the second guy in the midfield, I choose McTominay. I don't see better option right now. Uh, you really need to buy a new striker, you need to buy a new face for this position. Scott McTominay is a team player, he can run a lot, and this is why I choose him to play as a box-to-box with -box someone who is going to help defense, someone who is going to run up and down. He's an okay player, at least in FM, he, he can be a good for box-to-box -box midfielder. Left side we have Malassia as a wing-back support duty, individual instruction to shoot less often. Uh, then, pair of central defenders, Martinez and Varane. I mean, first thing that you should do is to sell Harry Maguire. He's 29, he's slow, maybe he played really well in the World Cup, but for Manchester he's not playing well, and as I said, he's really slow, like a turtle. I don't like this kind of central defenders. So, best option is to sell Maguire, to earn some really big money, and to put Martinez and Varane to play as a central defenders. Uh, Manchester United uh, really needs another wing back on the right side, right wing back. One Bisaka, I don't know what to think about him. Great speed, really nice physical attributes. I like this kind of physical attributes for my wing back. But problems with technical attributes, really poor technical attributes, especially because the wing backs are very important uh, for teams like Manchester United. And I give him some individual instructions like cross less often. Uh, and shoot less often with this shooting. I mean, long shots, only three. Don't want to waste this um, possession. On the goal, of course, the Ha. Okay, and now I'll check all the players. Here you can check all the current and potential abilities, hidden attributes of every player. And we see that the best player of Manchester United, of course, who else than Bruno Fernandes with the current ability 166. We spoke about him, incredible technical attributes, great mental attributes. Uh, heart of Manchester United right now. Uh, then Christian Eriksen is there also. A great current ability, 161. Didn't expect this this great current ability, yeah, uh, but as I said, Ericsson and Bruno Fernandes in the same team, I don't know how is that going to look like, uh, Casemiro with the current ability, 161, fantastic ball winning midfielder, uh, then Varane is fantastic uh, player in the FM, superb speed, I really like this kind of central defenders, check this, fantastic speed, great heading, tackling, also technique, uh, vision is 9, this is not that bad, uh, then we have Jadon Sancho with the current ability 155 potential, 177. What is going on with this fellow? I don't know. But in FM, he must get minutes in the first team, that's for sure. Then we have Marcus Rashford with the current ability 151. Also great potential, 173. Still can improve a bit. 
And the only problem is he's 24. This is the reason why maybe he won't reach his full potential. Some awesome speed, uh, great, uh, nice dribbling technique. Everything is just fine. Rashford is also my favorite player there, actually. Then we have Anthony, great dribbler. Still need to show up uh, to show why uh, Manchester United signed him. Current ability 148. Luke Shaw is there with the current ability 147. Here you can check all the current and potential abilities. But let's see some young players with high potential. Do we have them? Uh, we see that Ahmad uh, Diallo is alone, but his potential on 48. This is not that great for uh, yeah for Manchester United for some other teams. Yes, we have Antonio Langa. Uh, his potential only 141. I don't know. This is really weak potential for Manchester. Uh, then we have Deshaun Bernard. Really weak potential 135. Brandon Williams. 146, yeah, a lot of injuries destroyed his career. Anthony, we spoke about him, he's going to improve his potential, 165. Jaden Sancho, also we spoke about him. Nathan Bishop, only 120. Yeah, need to sell him, that's for sure. Okay, Malasia potential, 150. Okay, the other players are not that young. Uh, but let's see uh, hidden attributes like important matches. That's Marcus Rashford, the highest important matches in the team, 18. Christian Eriksen, 17, wow. Uh, Tom, great important matches, Tom Heaton, goalkeeper. Uh, then Victor Lindelof, uh, 15 important matches, Varane, great. Uh, the Hair, Jaden Sancho, important matches, 15, that's awesome. And players with the lowest important matches, uh, hidden attributes, Anthony, only 10. Wow, uh, we won't speak about Nathan Bishop. Lisandro Martinez, 11, so this is not that great, one the big, Bissaka, 12. Okay, now let's see the most loyal player in uh, the club, and that's Lindelof, uh, loyalty, uh, 18. Brandon Will is also great, loyalty, Tom Heaton, fantastic, hidden attributes, actually, Scott McTominay, very loyal player, 16. Rashford also, 16. Uh, Christian Eriksen is very loyal, 15, okay. And player who is not loyal at all, that's Phil Jones, 8, Jadon Sancho is not loyal, only 9, Casemiro 10, loyalty, okay, he's not loyal player, now let's see under 21 squad, do we have some interesting kids there, actually we have, that's Hannibal, this is not Hannibal Lecter, this is a Tunisian winger, fantastic player, all of the determination 17, alone at Birmingham, potential 170, unbelievable, but important matches and loyalty really weak, then we have Alejandro Garnacho, Argentinian winger, potential 55, not bad. Okay, then we have uh, Ethan Anis, English, 17 years old winger, okay, potential 52. And maybe Kobe Maino, English C advanced playmaker, potential 150. Okay, now let's see under 18 squad. Do we have interesting kids? They're actually not that much. Maybe Adam Barry with a potential 147. Now we're going to do a little transfer guide. We see that Manchester United has 23 million transfer budget, around 25 million. So you can't afford some really expensive players, but you need a couple of new signings, that's for sure. So let's go. Okay, so we said that we need a new CM who is going to play along Casemiro and we need the striker, that's for sure. So this is my list of five players that wants to play for Manchester United and that you can afford with 23, 25 million. I mean, you can't sign all of them, but... Uh, uh, some of them, that's for sure. Okay, first on my list, uh, Rabiot, fantastic French box-to-box -box midfield. This is what you need. Someone who is going to run up and down. Someone with some nice passing skills. Yeah, passing 16, not bad first touch. Great stamina, strength, pace. Uh, he's a really nice player and he's not expensive. Here you can check his price, 24 million. You will be able to sign him for 24 million. But first option would be Western McKinley, this American uh, ball winning meter or box to box meter, superb physical attributes, great movement, uh, great determination, bravery, aggression, uh, problems maybe with passing only 13, but this is enough, yeah. Uh, also, he's very young, he's 23, his price is uh, 23 million. And uh, then I have one young player, yeah, uh, can be really great sub for Bruno Fernandes. Uh, why? Because his price is not big and his potential is unbelievable. 176 guys, he's going to prove, he's going to be a beast. Already classy flair determination. Uh, he's only 19 years old. That's Bruno Iglesias. And we see that his price is only around 17 million. Uh, we said that we need striker and ha, 
I don't know, maybe I, I love him because I'm Serbian too, but Aleksandar Mitrovic is playing fantastic in Premier League and he's not expensive, totally underrated striker, guys, if you're asking me. Uh, I'm sure that even in real life he would be a fantastic addition for Manchester United. We see that his price is 38 million, this could be a problem, maybe you don't have money, but if you sell, for example, if you sell Harry Maguire, if you sell some players, you will be able to sign Alexander Mitrovic, that's for sure. I have uh, one cheaper option, and that's Musa Dembele, why not? He's 25, he's not old, he's fast, he's okay in the air, heading 15, jumping 13, great movement, not bad finishing, not bad technique. Uh, he can be a really nice addition, he can be a really good sub for Martial, or sometimes maybe he can be in the first team. The best thing is that his price is only 12 million. And at the end we are going to check team leaders. We see that Manchester United has only through two team leaders, that's De Gea and Rashford. This could be a problem, especially if you sell some of these players. We have a couple of players with a really high influence, that's Alex and Maguire Fernandes. Yeah, so maybe a new team leader is going to be Bruno Fernandes, that's for sure.